Hey everybody, this is Robert from Kapuang and I'm actually on a Zoom call right now with Vanessa. Hi Vanessa. Hey Robert, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing okay, but I'm really sick of this scenery. I've been working from home for like a week now. How about you? I agree. I've only seen these four walls and two doors for three days, so I'd love a change in scenery. You know, I'm going to get that change of scenery right now. I, I am going straight into the never-ending story. This is, uh, this is where I need to be right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go to Harry Potter because that's where I need to be right now. <laughs> Ron and Harry, you know. They're the best. They're the best. So I think these virtual backgrounds make Zoom like a hundred times better and everybody should be using them uh, as long as you can. System requirements listed in the description below. But um, let's show everybody how to make backgrounds like this because it's actually super easy. I agree. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. I will meet you in the office and we'll make this tutorial. See you guys there. So let's make a Zoom virtual background. Now you have a few options here. You can either use a video that can be an MP4 file, or you can use an image as your virtual background. I really like the videos. It's cool to have something engaging and moving behind my head. So I'm going to go with a video today. Now you're going to want to make sure you stick to a 16 by nine aspect ratio. That'll make your video or your photo fit about as you'd expect in the frame and your head will be in a spot that you expect and things will just kind of look more normal. So we're going to go for 16 by nine. Now I have a clip off of YouTube I want to use and it's a sketch from this anime called Haikyuu. So I'm going to go here and grab the URL for this video. And then I'm going to go back to the Kapwing studio and just paste it right in. Now Kapwing will pull that YouTube video into the editor here. Um, so we'll change it up here to 16 by nine on the right side of the screen in that toolbar. And now it's going to be perfect for our background. So now I just need to trim this video down to the scene I want to use for my virtual background and we're all set. So I will grab the trimmer here and I will go to just this first scene. He hits the volleyball over and he misses the water bottle. Let's see. Okay. Perfect. So that's exactly what I want for my virtual background. So I'm going to click done. Now it's trimmed down to a six second clip. Now this is a really fast background. It's just six seconds, but I've tested up to a 10 minute video as my virtual background before, and it worked perfectly. So I'm not entirely sure what the uh, maximum is on uh, time for a video, but it seems like it goes pretty high. So now that I've got my clip here and um, I've got everything I want and it's the right length, I'll just click publish. And Kapwing's gonna go ahead and grab that video off of YouTube and trim it down for us. I'll jump ahead to when this is done. Okay, so our clip has finished processing and it is all done and ready to go. So we're just gonna click download here. And that MP4 file is now saved to my Mac or PC and I'm ready to put it into Zoom. Vanessa's gonna show you how to do that right now. So for my background, I actually found this image on Twitter and I uploaded it to Kapwing so that I could download it. Um, so once I finish processing my image, I'm just gonna click download here. And once I have my image, I'm actually gonna go to Zoom and then I'll start a new meeting. And there. So how you add your um, virtual background is that you just go here to this carrot next to video and you click choose virtual background. So I have to upload my background first. And I think it's this one. And once I've uploaded my background, there I am. Super easy, super simple. And if you actually don't see this virtual background thing, you have to go to your net portal on Zoom and then go to in meeting or you go to your settings and then go to in meeting advanced and make sure that your virtual background here toggle is on just to make sure you have that option to add a virtual background. And that's it. That's how you add a virtual background on Zoom. Let's see what kind of virtual background Robert came up with. Hey, Robert. Hey, so I'm here in my favorite anime, Haikyuu, and uh, um, ooh, oh, ow, ow. Ooh. So right. great background, I guess, but um, painful. <laughs> Yeah, mine is the image and yours is the video, so I guess you can win this one. Um, how long did it take you to make your video? Uh, literally just about a minute or two. Same. It took me like a few minutes to just upload and download it.
If you guys want to make a cool virtual background as well, it only takes a few minutes on kapwing.com. If you make anything cool, let us know because we're constantly in Zoom and we're like working from home. So we'd love to see the backgrounds that you guys come up with. Comment down below, uh, share it on Instagram and tag us. Make sure you tag us at Kapwing app. And we have a bunch of digital tutorials coming out soon. So yeah, stay tuned. This has been Vanessa. And I'm Robert. Thanks so much.